again. So Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. Often while doing data analysis, we come across a situation where the information that you need is often splitted in multiple tables and you need a way to kind of club them together. Now, in the previous video, we spoke about how we can combine or append data vertically from multiple tables into a single table. But now let's understand how we can join data together horizontally. Now the concept related to join is very important for you to understand. So we're gonna start from the basic. Let's take an example. We have two tables here. First one is meets and second one is open powerlifting that we've been using in a couple of our videos now. Okay. Now in the meets table, we have a couple of information regarding meet ID, right? So where that particular athletic meet happened and what was the federation that hosted that particular meet? Uh, what was the country where that meet happened and some other information, right? Then we have open powerlifting wherein we have some more detailed information, right? Wherein within each meet, how many players were there, what kind of equipments they were using, their gender, age, and all those things, all those nitty gritties. Now, what if I want to do an analysis and create a single table where I need the names and equipment from this particular table, which is open powerlifting, and I want the federation column from this meets table. Now this is where SQL joins comes into action. There are four main types of joins. First one is a left join. Second one is a right join. Third one is an inner join. And fourth one is a full outer join. Now let's understand all these joins with a visual example. So here I have two tables. On the left hand side, I have table A. And on the right hand side, I have table B. When I apply a left join, I'll get every information available within table A and whatever information is matching in table B, I can fetch from table B and anything which is not matching will return as null. Now, second one is the right join. In the same example, if I apply a right join, I will get every item from my table B and only the matching row items will be returned from table A. Now comes the third join, which is an inner join. Now here, when I apply an inner join, it will only return only the matching row items between both the tables. So let's say I have A, B, C in the left side table and I have only A and B in the right side table. The final output will only have A and B because A and B are the only row items which are matching and which are existing in both the tables. Then the last join is full outer join. This is where SQL will return all the values from table A and table B. I'm assuming that you get a basic idea of what join means. Now, to solidify your understanding, let's just jump into an example that we have here. We'll be using these two tables, which is meets and open power lifting to demonstrate an example of join. Now, here is the requirement. I need a table where meet ID is 20, 62 and 100. And I want column name, equipment and division from open power lifting as well as I need an additional column from meets which is federation to be included in my final output. Okay. So I'll be using a join and I can use a left join here. So this is how it goes. I'm going to write a select statement select from Lithe open power lifting and I'm going to assign it a alias so that it's easier for me to refer to the columns from this table. Now in joins you need to make sure that while referring a column, you need to refer its table name as well. Otherwise, SQL will get confused whether to use the column from the left table or right side table, right? So this is how it goes. I've assigned a alias name to this table, which is PW for open power lifting. And now I can say PW dot name, comma, PW dot equipment and PW dot division. What I need to do is I need to join this table with the meets table, right? So for that to happen, I'm going to say left join meets and I'm going to assign a alias to this empty. And then the final statement here is on. So basically, whenever you join something, you need to mention which table you want to join and you want to mention the unique key which is used to join those two tables. In my case, 
its meet id so i'm going to say pw dot meet id is equal to empty dot meet id so i'm saying join these two tables on the basis of meet id in pw and meet id in empty okay now this is where alias helps a lot because otherwise i would have to write this entire thing before mentioning the meet id clause now i can safely add another column to it which is empty dot federation now the join has been completed only thing left is to apply that condition where pw dot meet id in 2062 or 100 and then i'm going to run this so as you see i've successfully joined both open power lifting and meet stable to get a final output where i have three columns from open power lifting and one column from meet stable which is federation now when i applied this join it gave me everything from the open power lifting table and whatever it found matching from the meet stable it populated here now in the same case if i change this left join into a right join then it will return everything from the meet stable and only return values which are matching in open power lifting table okay now here comes an important concept to understand whenever you are joining a table right in this case because my meet table has one value for each meeting id and open power lifting has multiple row items for the same meet id this particular join represents a one to many join okay but instead of this if i write a left join here then this represents a many to one join because open power lifting has many values for one meet id and meets only had one row item for one meet id so which represents a many to one okay now in the same scenario if i just change it to an inner join this will return everything which is matching in both the tables okay any value which exists in only one of the tables will not be returned similarly if i write full outer join this will return everything in both the tables regardless of the fact whether it found a match or not so this was just an introduction into joins we will definitely go much more deep into this concept while we are working with data analysis projects in the future so stay tuned for that and in case you have any doubts regarding what we have learned today then feel free to comment below i'll be happy to help you out if you think that you have learned something new today then please consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos that i upload and as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one